christened on Tuesday, married on Wednesday. Solomon Grundy Anatomy, exploring the physiology details of this zombie supervillain. Hi, this is Simon, and welcome to another Marvelous Videos. Modern pop culture has gone absolutely crazy, trying to reinvigorate the concept of the walking undead. Today's world, the presence of zombies has become ubiquitous, to a point where they have spawned their own subculture, with zombie walks, zombie-themed events, and zombie survival guides. The idea of a brain-eating, walking dead corpse with an awful amount of strength, mindlessly wobbling the street in unanimous hordes is skin crawling, terrifying, and fascinating at the same time. So, of course, the DC Universe had to take the cue and adapt to it to create zombie supervillains, giving us the very macabre character of Solomon Grundy. Now, this guy has a power of two dozen normal men and is practically unkillable. What makes Grundy such a blood curdling antagonist would be his ability to resurrect every time he meets his demise from the same swamp he was buried in and re emerges into a brand new incarnation with very levels of strength and intelligence. Although sometimes he comes back as a mindless beast, most of his incarnations have mapped traits of heroism. Since Grundy's first appearance in October 1944 in the All-American Comic Issue 61, Alfred Bester has given him different versions over the years. Fans have raved about Solomon Grundy being hilariously oafish while being cunning and brutal. Although Grundy has never been a main event antagonist, there's a lot of potential for this character given his heated alterations with Batman, Superman, Green Green Lantern, Justice Society of America, and even the Justice League. So in this video, we will go through the anatomy of Solomon Grundy and how DC put a lot of thought into creating this legendary enemy. But before we go into our explanation, we do have a very small request. If you like our content, then please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you, and let's begin. Grundy wants to play. You do know Grundy and Monday don't rhyme, right? How did a normal human turn into a zombified monstrosity? In the Earth 2 version mapping Solomon Grundy's history of origin showcases him as a 19th century evil rich merchant named Cyrus Gold who was brutally murdered in Gotham City, after which his body was dumped in a slaughter swamp where it lay buried for the next 50 years. After five decades, Gold's body accumulated swamp matter all around it and his corpse rose from the dead as a gigantic lurching figure with no account of memories from his past life. The murky waters from the swamp combined with the chemicals and pollutants from the surrounding areas to transform Cyrus Gold's body into a zombie-like creature. After his resurrection, the first thing Gold does is murder two criminals in hiding and steal their clothes. Cyrus then proceeds to enter the hobo camp where he recalls the only fact about himself, stating that he was born on a Monday. When one of the inhabitants of the camp mentions a character from a nursery rhyme who was born on a Monday, Cyrus Gold fixates on the moniker and becomes the iconic Cyrus. Solomon Grundy, a hulking, undead villain with superhuman strength, endurance, and regenerative abilities. Inevitably, Grundy chooses the life of crime, becoming a viciously powerful, mindless antagonist of the DC Universe. Of course, then he starts getting the attention from Green Lantern and the Justice Society of America, getting into different altercations and emerging out of the toughest prisons every time he is trapped. The foundation of Solomon's character has been paved with his invulnerability to most attacks and his inherent resistance towards being killed off. But it is a very huge possibility that the criminal nature of this character was a mix of his cruel and crime-filled life as a human, with the obvious environmental factors from the chemicals of the slaughter swamp. Solomon Grundy's body was also experimented with by an evil scientist who had injected him with a high dose of chlorophyll, which really just invited Grundy to become a hundred times more powerful, killing the scientist and everyone else in his way. It is very important to note that there have been countless versions of Solomon Grundy's origin. The most most popular accepted and talked about version was of Cyrus Gold as a wanted criminal who had no conscience. He was fearless and did not think once before resorting to violence to get what he wants. Gold had an unquenchable thirst for power and wealth and literally could go on a rampant crime spree in need of it. But one fine day the tables had turned and Cyrus was deceived by his own men in the middle of a heist. They brutally murdered him in cold blood and tossed his lifeless body in a slaughter swamp so it could never be retrieved. And thus the existence of Cyrus would be wiped off from the scene. After decades, a malignant chemical reaction with the swamp saw the rise of a corpse from the dead which was identified as Cyrus Gold. Cyrus Gold, in lieu of his residual memories from his past life, woke up from the dead and chose violence and, inevitably, the savage brute force. And murderously destructive Solomon Grundy was born.
What caused Solomon Grundy to constantly come back from the dead? As mentioned before, Cyrus Gold's transformation to Solomon Grundy was a direct result of being a corpse marinated in a slaughter swamp for 50 years. The swamp water he was thrown into contained mystical elements, causing his body to go through a vigorously tremendous change and also allowing him to re-emerge into an invulnerable and unkillable zombie. Grundy's body was imbued with a certain type of elemental energy, which was the fuel that powered his pseudo-life, allowing him to constantly regenerate and come back to form even after being repeatedly defeated or destroyed. His constant rise from the dead after being killed off again and again has been attributed to the swamp's magical components, which are shrouded in mystery, giving him the ability to constantly reanimate himself with a certain kick to his powers with every resurrection. In some versions of the story, Grundy is considered a plant elemental, much like the villainous character of Swamp Thing from the DC Universe. This means that he has a special connection to the swamp and can use it to regenerate and gain more power. Solomon Grundy's body is also fused with the wood pulp and vegetation in the swamp, making him invulnerable to attacks from certain types of weapons or powers. For example, Alan Scott's power ring, which was unable to affect wood, was ineffective against Grundy. With all honesty, this guy's extremely unique origin story and reinvigorated powers can easily give many powerful heroes from the DC Universe a run for their money. How old is Solomon Grundy? Alfred Bester's brainchild Solomon Grundy's first debuted on Halloween in 1944, and his character was illustrated as a walking undead zombie by the famous Paul Reinman. Solomon Grundy's comic book run is currently at a whopping 80 years and counting. Despite being created in the golden age of comics, Grundy has remained a popular antagonist in the DC Comics universe and has appeared in various adaptions, spawning several decades worth of nerve-wracking content in many comics, although it does not come as pretty shocking news that other DC villains like Sinestro, Bane and the Riddler have had their chance at making silver screen debuts even though their characters were created much later as compared to Solomon Grundy, who has yet to make an appearance in a major motion picture. Despite this shortcoming, the legend of Solomon Grundy keeps leaving its imprint on comic book enthusiasts with his unquenchable thirst for carnage and violence, brutally destroying anyone at his wake. Grundy's character has skillfully withstood the test of time and has reassured fans that no matter how old, the shambles of Solomon Grundy is here to stay. As you are. Grundy doesn't remember. Grundy's always been Grundy. Is Solomon Grundy's intelligence his biggest enemy? Well, it's no news that in general that the biggest shortcoming of a zombie is the unfortunate tag of being absolutely mindless. It is unfortunately likewise in the case of our iconic zombie villain, Solomon Grundy. His forte is really more on overpowering his opponents with brute force rather than outsmarting them. Most of his reanimations from the dead map, the lack of a basic sense of decision making due to his possession of a limited mind. Although Though he possesses immense physical strength and endurance, his limited mental capacity makes him susceptible to manipulation, trickery and mind control tactics. As a result, he can be easily controlled by smarter villains to carry out their nefarious plans. In some instances, he is outright mind controlled to do so, as seen in the comic Superman uh, Batman Public Enemies where Gorilla Grodd used his telepathic ability to control Solomon Grundy to capture the two superheroes and claim the bounty of $1 million placed on their their heads by Lex Luthor. Grodd shamelessly kept the bounty for himself, using Grundy as his scapegoat. There have also been rare instances in this scheme where Grundy's mind has been expanded or controlled by Grodd, who had used him as a vehicle to make Grundy speak with a surprisingly higher intellect until he is foiled by the Batman breaking his trance and making Gorilla Grodd finally lose his control over Solomon Grundy. Thus, Grundy's lack of intelligence and tendency towards mindless violence is often what leads to his downfall in battles against more strategic opponents. Therefore, it would not be accurate to say that his intelligence is his biggest enemy, as he does not possess great intelligence to begin with. Do human limitations and weaknesses affect Solomon Grundy? It is no news that our zombie supervillain's undead form makes him virtually indestructible and impervious to most forms of harm. Solomon Grundy's unique artificial animation and elemental energy imbued within him make him nearly invulnerable to physical, magical and energy attacks. His body rapidly heals from injuries and he can even reattach severed limbs or other body parts. Additionally, Grundy does not feel the need to eat, drink, sleep or breathe automatically 
basically making him immune to diseases and ailments that affect standard humans. Although it should be noted that Grundy has often passed out and is found sleeping in the sewers alongside trying to feed on humans who have trespassed the swamps he calls his home. Solomon Grundy possesses superhuman strength and massive stamina, although his strength has varied over time. In some instances, he has been beaten by Batman, while in others, his strength has been on par with Superman's. Despite being undead, Solomon Grundy can and has died multiple times, but with each death, he reanimates soon after, gaining even more strength than before, and he is practically immortal because of some mystical energy imbuing his pseudo-life. It is impossible for someone as strong as Grundy to be affected by shortcomings, limitations, or weaknesses that affect a mere mortal. Put her down! How is he restrained to the origin Green Lantern's power ring? Solomon Grundy has been shown to be highly resistant to the effects of the original Green Lantern's power ring, which is attributed to his part plant essence. The resistance initially stemmed from his absorption of plant matter from the swamp. This plant essence in his body makes him highly resistant to magical attacks, and thus the power of the Green Lantern's ring is largely ineffective against him. During the Golden Age of comics, Solomon Grundy faced off against the original Green Lantern. Alan Scott, who attempted to use his power ring to stop Grundy, but the ring proved ineffective and the zombie villain escaped. The reason behind this is later attributed to Grundy's resistance to the power ring, which is said to be due to his partial plant essence. The Green Lantern's ring is one of the most powerful weapons in the DC Universe, capable of generating energy constructs and manipulating the forces of the universe. However, it was unable to penetrate Grundy's natural defenses. It is directly implied that when this plant essence was absorbed by Grundy from the swamp, it is later revealed that he is a partial plant element, like Swamp Thing. This attribute grants him resistance to the effects of the Green Lantern's power ring, making him almost immune to its powers. Additionally, Grundy's resistance to the Green Lantern's power ring can also be attributed to his near indestructible and immortal nature. He is nearly invulnerable to physical, magical, and energy attacks, and his resilience makes him a formidable opponent even for the most powerful beings in the DC Universe. Furthermore, after defeating Green Lantern, Grundy becomes disturbingly obsessed with a green light that the ring emits when it's in use. He believes that killing people gives off a similar green light, and he becomes fixated on continuing to murder in order to see that green light again. This further highlights his resistance to the power of the Green Lantern, as he's able to withstand its effects and, instead, draw to its energy. Overall, Grundy's resistance to the Green Lantern power ring, his overall invulnerability to magical and physical attacks, makes him a nearly unstoppable force to be reckoned with, even for the most powerful heroes in the DC Universe. Is Solomon Grundy immortal? It is practically implied at this point that Solomon Grundy can be best described as immortal. He is essentially a zombie, revived by magical elements, and his physical form can be destroyed, but not easily. He is virtually indestructible and immortal thanks to the elemental energy that imbues his form with pseudo-life. Even though Solomon Grundy has been burnt alive by Batman using a blast furnace, torn apart by the Red Tornado using the strength of 350 mile per hour winds, and even impaled by Superman causing him to die multitudes of times, he always seems to rise again in a new incarnation, reanimating by acquiring even more strength than before, and sometimes a personality with an average to high intelligence. Each version of Grundy is somewhat different and unpredictable from the last, depending on how he was killed before. Grundy's immortality gives him the privilege to be reborn or resurrected every time he is killed. This makes him unpredictable, and it is uncertain which incarnation of Grundy will rise after each of his death. His powers and abilities also vary from incarnation to incarnation, with some being easily defeated by humans and others being a tricky deal. Despite being defeated by several superheroes, including Batman, Superman, and Green Lantern, Grundy always seems to make a comeback. This cycle of death and rebirth has continued throughout his existence, making him a functionally immortal supervillain in the DC Universe.
Can Solomon Grundy reproduce? Well, we are asking the impossible here. Can a zombie supervillain without a legitimate thought process inhabit the capacity to biologically spawn more of its kind? Absolutely not. Firstly, there is no evidence or mention in any comic book or storyline in the DC Universe that Solomon Grundy is capable of reproduction. Grundy is typically portrayed as a reanimated corpse or a zombie, and his focus is primarily on causing chaos and destruction, rather than putting an ounce of his non-existent brain into reproduction or procreating. But it is important to note that before becoming Solomon Grundy as a human being, Cyrus Gold had a wife, inciting a loophole where Gold could have naturally reproduced as a human being, but unfortunately the wife was raped and killed herself after not being able to withstand the trauma of the abusive incident. So there might have been no chance for Gold to have children in his human form, and it is absolutely impossible for him to have children in his monstrous zombie form. With this, we have finally covered all the possible physiological feats of the iconic Solomon Grundy. Being an anti-hero in most story arcs, an antagonist in others, this guy has really covered all bases for being the strongest villains in DC, and sometimes with his reincarnation allows him to resurrect with some form of intelligence. He could possibly become an undefeated entity all along. Grundy's varied avatars, crackhead, cadaver energy, and thirst to kill really sets the potential for him to become one of the DC's most favoured villains. And that is a wrap for this video, so let us know your thoughts about this zombie supervillain with mystical powers and abilities in the comments box below. And of course, if you did like our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one and be safe. Thanks everyone. Grundy thinks he is going away now. No, just hang on.